For another look at the sea and the Holy Land, I'm delighted to host Dr. Devora Svikel from the University of Haifa. She is a marine archaeologist there. Devora, great to have you on the show. Thank you. Uh, I understand that you just got back from a sail. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, it was an amazing experience. We sailed the uh, Magan Michael II, which is a replica of a 2,400 years old ship, the Magan Michael ship. And uh, it's a wooden ship with a square sail and only by the power of the wind and human ingenuity. So it was really an amazing experience. Wow. Who, who built that ship for you to take out? Uh, it Over is a replica. crew. Uh, the head of the project was the late Professor Yaakov Kahanov. And around there was a group of uh, volunteers, uh, which are now actually are the crew which sails the ship. So the people who build it are now sailing the ship. Amazing. And what was it that you were hoping to learn about, you know, when you were out on this on this ship, this replica of such an old vessel? Uh, well, the project had two uh, goals: one, to study how to build an ancient ship using, you know no metals, no electrical tools like they built 2,400 years ago. And the second one was how to sail that kind of ship with a square sail in the Mediterranean against the prevailing winds. So that's what we are trying to do. Wow, incredible. Um, tell me a little bit about the kind of mechanics of doing um, uh, marine archaeology, because the instruments and, and how it kind of works. I know it sounds very romantic when you say I'm a marine archaeologist, but it depends. It, there is a lot of work, uh, preparation work, of course, all the having to have a, a permit from the IAA, the Israel Antiquities Authority, in order to excavate, then to find the finance to do it because it's a very expensive operation. Prepare all the gear, which is not only diving gear, but also special equipment to work underwater. And then you have to have the sea on your side because a stormy day, we can't work and all. All the preparation was in vain. Tell me about one of the most kind of exciting finds that you uh, found there during uh, when your time in your time in the ocean. Uh, well, one of the exciting finds was uh, um, when we excavated a, a shipwreck in Akko, and we found some ammunition. And according to ammunition, we knew she was uh, related to one of the naval battles that took place in Akko. So you have like you're touching history. You read about it in the books, and then you see it for your own eyes. Amazing. So it's How old very was exciting. that, that Not that old. It was 200 years old. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's kind of new. Any, any treasure, any gold in there that you found? Uh, no, <laughs> not in one of the shipwrecks I excavated, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what most people think, right? Yes, they look for gold. But we are interested in other artifacts, like um, working tools, things that will tell us about daily life on board, what they ate. Uh, what they played with. So what have you found that told you something about their daily life? Uh, uh, first thing we found is, of course, the food remains, which, so we know what they ate. We have the um, cooking uh, utensils, so we know what, what they used to cook. Sometimes we found the braziers they used to cook um, to heat the water, the soup, the tea, whatever. And sometimes we find, the, recently we found some uh, um, stone gaming pieces. Oh. So we know to They're pass playing, the time. playing board games? Or you found, we found a pipe made of wood. So I think of the sailor that was, you know, passing Smoking. his time, mm -hmm. carving something while sailing. Interesting. Interesting. What are the things that you, you can't find that you, you know, I mean, does ev if, if you want to know what they wore, uh, those kind of things you can't really uh, fabrics, figure out, right? Yeah, fabrics are much more uh, difficult because they uh, disintegrate very quickly. Yes. But in some shipwrecks, uh, they, they found uh, fragments here and there, and then from the fragments you build the story of what, what it was. Uh, we found leather shoes. Leather survives. So. Leather survives, yeah. right. Um, tell me a little bit about your next project. Uh, my next project is uh, excavating a shipwreck, another shipwreck in Magan Michael, which is a Byzantine period shipwreck uh, filled with amphoras, which was, it was probably a merchantman sailing here, a very, very large ship. So we're working on that at the moment. All right, we're going to have to invite you back after you finish that. Okay. Thank with you pleasure. so much, Devora. All you. right, we're going to take a short, short break, but don't go anywhere. We have so much more coming up for you here on The Holy Land Uncovered. Stay with us.